So Sagittarius, the reason past energy between you and your person, Four of Swords, and it's with the Four of Wands. Now the Four of Swords, as you can see in the picture, is showing that there's a need for a break. Maybe it could be from normal life, maybe a person or a situation. This card can also mean that you or someone in your life may withdraw for a time. But the withdrawal is not likely to be permanent. Yeah. Sometimes the Four of Swords can mean time in the hospital or time in jail. Those are just examples. However, it's a sign to give people their space. You could be needing some time, space to yourself. Others could be pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention. But don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself. Or to just say no. Uh, yeah, draw boundaries or just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, Take them at their word, because if you push in the circumstance, it's going to be asking for trouble. Now, it's with the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands indicates that you could be attending a special event. It's going to be way more fun than you're anticipating. So make sure to go. If you have a business, it's likely to be going very well. You'll be proud of yourself, and others will be proud of you also. Now, although this, this Four of Wands is a positive card in a reading, it does show that there's a need to keep your wits about yourself. That although you should treat yourself to some fun, and you deserve it, but just know that you're probably still in a building up phase. And now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. This card, the Four of Wands, it can sometimes mean that you could be moving, maybe moving your place of residence, or maybe you're thinking about relocating. So, Sagittarius, Four of Swords, clarified by this Four of Wands, for the recent past energy between you and your person, the message that I'm getting is that for a lot of you Sagittarius, you might have started talking about commitment to your person. And if it wasn't commitment, it was trying to take the connection to the next level. Because the Four of Wands, it's the marriage and commitment card, 1111. Yeah, so you were ready for commitment. Or something long term. Yeah, you, you were just you're over you were over being the girlfriend or the go to person. But it looks like your person they might have it looks like they might you might you might have you could have felt like they ghosted you. Yeah, you could have felt like they, they, they walked away when you started trying to get things to become more serious. Yeah. Because like I said, the Four of Swords can be about someone withdrawing. Now, for some of you, you might, you, you could have walked away temporarily you needed a break after trying to um, maybe talk about commitment it just seemed too much for your person and it kind of drained you emotionally so the four of swords could be you needing needing rest after a struggle that's what the four of swords can be about but for a lot of you, I'm getting that your person, 
once you start trying to take things to the next level or talk about commitment, it could have felt like they were distance, distance. It could have felt like they were distancing themselves from you. Because that's what this Four of Swords can be about. Withdrawing. Or you might have felt like they ghosted you. Yeah, but you were ready for a commitment. And a lot of you started talking about it or giving hints. And they just... It just seemed like they were... Getting farther and farther away from you. Yeah, sorry about that. That's not a good feeling. Especially if you got, yeah, you got emotions for this person. I was going to say especially if you have, but you do. Because I'm looking at the Four of Wands. The way these two people, Four of Wands is the card below the word pass. The way these two people are looking into each other's eyes. And just beaming like a well-lit Christmas tree. So you could have thought your person was feeling the same way. But but uh, Sagittarius, they're not ready yet. That's, that's just what I'm getting. They're not ready. It's not like they don't want it. But now is not the time for them. They want it. But just not now. A lot of times it's hard for two people to get on the same page. And you'll see that all through life. And you probably have experienced how difficult it is for two people to be on the same page at the same time. We all know that that's very rare and very difficult. But they want it. They've got emotions for you. That's the two of you. The Four of Swords. I'm sorry, Four of Wands. The card below the word pass. That's that's you and your person. There's love there. They want it, but they can't give it to you now. So they they withdrew. They didn't know how to respond. So they, they withdrew and it made you feel like they ghosted you. But they come back. The Four of Swords, they always come back. But anyway, let's get off of that. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. Well, we got Judgment. And then we got the Eight of Swords. Now, Judgment can be a card about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and of course, judgments that are made too hastily, made too fast. So if you're prone to doing such things, it can be a signal, slow down, give things more thought. Give people more chances. Judgment can also be a card about spiritual awakening. Now it's with this eight of swords. Eight of short eight of swords. It can be about holding yourself back because you fear moving into the future. Or because you're wary of getting hurt by a situation. Or maybe for no reason at all. So you have to think through. What it is you're afraid of, but because the truth of the situations, they're probably much less frightening than your mind is making it out to be. So, Sagittarius, judgment clarified by the Eight of Swords coming up for you and your person. So, yeah, like I said, your person, they do come back. They come back around. They just kind of like go away. They disappear. Um, it looks like when they come back, you're, you're going to be very judgmental. Very judgmental. You're going to have a hard time offering forgiveness. That's what judgment can be about. So it looks like you, you could start to hold yourself back. You're afraid to continue moving forward with this person. Yeah, you're kind of stuck in your head about how they dealt with the, the fact that you, you're ready to take the connection to the next level. You're stuck in your head about 
them just kind of walking away or withdrawing. So you're afraid to move forward with them now, seeing how the, how they handle things. Yeah, and you, you're having a hard time offering forgiveness. So let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. Ace of Wands. And it's with the Three of Swords. Now the Ace of Wands can indicate new beginnings, very positive ones. The Wands, they're in the realm of accomplishments and could be related to work or career, family or romance. And if you're having a difficult time now, just know that things are about to get better very soon. And I say very soon because if you look at the Ace of Wands, it's the card above the word challenge. It looks like it's sitting above the cl the clouds, but no, no, it's the wand has actually burst. It burst above the clouds, really powerful, sharp, and fast. Yeah, so things are about to get better very soon. This card is about being optimistic, upbeat, hopeful about the future with a really good cause. So. You're likely to be feeling energetic, positive, or you'll be feeling that way soon. The Ace also, the Ace also tells you that now is actually a good time to start something new. Now it's with this, it's with the Three of Swords. Three of Swords can be an element of sorrow that's undeniable when you get this card, but what's on the other side of the sorrow? It can be enhanced understanding and joy, so allow yourself to fully experience any sadness or pain that comes up. This way you can move past it. Yeah, you want to move beyond it. This card, it can point to a very deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move on. If you deny any pain, it will not make it go away. So, allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up, but don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. And I say this because if you do, you could get stuck there. You could wake up every morning thinking this is the new normal, and it's not. So, just know that you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough and others will not be able to do this for you. So, Sagittarius, your challenge, Ace of Wands, clarified by this Three of Swords. So basically, the message I'm getting is that you're hurt. You're, you're really hurt. The Three of Swords is ugly. Yeah, because you, you wanted commitment. You want marriage. And your person, they're, they're not able to give it to you now. Not now. They've got emotions for you. they got feelings and love for you. And then the way they just handled it by by making you feel like they ghosted you. So you're afraid to move forward with this person. And you're having a hard time forgiving them. But the Ace of Wands is here. Which is beautiful. You got some powerful new beginning coming in. It's gonna like... It's gonna... It's gonna come around the corner and slap you in the face. Some wonderful new beginning, just out of nowhere. Yeah, for a lot of you Sagittarius, 2021, 20, this, this new beginning is going to go into 2021. Ace of Wands is very powerful. Some new beginning could be romance related, could be career related, could be something that you've always wanted. Well, it's, it's coming, or it's, it's on its way, it's here. Yeah, so, you're hurt for now, but 
I'm getting the feeling that things are going to turn around really fast, really soon for you. And like I said, I'm get, I get, I just keep getting New Year's. New Year's is going to, the new year, 2021, is going to be absolutely wonderful. But let's see what the outcome is. Well, we got justice. And it's with the Two of Wands. Now, justice actually deals with the ideal of karma and the law of cause and effect. So, it's important not to ring. It's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Because sometimes we're called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone we care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily. Also, if you're directly involved in a court case, it's likely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. So, that's a little bit about justice. Now, justice is with the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands, with this card, it's important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can, even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. The Two of Wands, it can indicate a partnership with another person. So, this could be business or personal, or it could be both. It reminds us to stay mindful to the give and take. That's required for successful relationships. So, if things are feeling out of balance for you now, just know that they're about to get substantially better. So keep your eyes on the prize that you're looking for. So your outcome, Sagittarius, justice clarified by two of wands. So the message that I'm getting is that, like I said, you've got some wonderful new beginning in, coming in. Wonderful. Ace of Wands, very positive. You're still hurt now, though. Yeah, you could still be trying to figure out how to get over this disappointment with your person. I don't show that you're leaving them, but I do show that you're afraid to move forward. So a lot of you could be leaving this person. And some of you, maybe not. I don't show, I don't, I'm not showing that you're leaving, but you could be, because you're not moving forward. You're just stuck there and you're hurt. So a lot of you will go on without this person, because you got some new beginning coming in. Maybe someone new, or maybe just some great new, super wonderful new beginning with something or a person or a situation, maybe. It's going to make you feel wonderful. Now, because of Two of Wands, the card below the word outcome, it's showing that you could have two new, two, maybe two new beginnings, two different ones. One of them is going to really get you excited. Because if you look at the Two of Wands, this man, he's sitting down. He's got his hand tied to something. Maybe this, your hand is tie, still tied to the person that couldn't give you the commitment, maybe, but your back is to them, yeah, your back is, you're not looking towards them at all, your body language looks like you're ready to walk, because there's something that sparks your interest, and you're looking directly into the eyes of the other one. And your body language is towards the other one. And your ankle is tied to it. So this could be that new beginning. It's really getting you excited. Yeah, and it's with justice. So you're going to feel like, wow, it's about time. You're going to feel like um, justice can be about feeling like it could be about feeling like you're finally getting what you deserve. Yeah, so this new beginning is going to make you feel like, hallelujah, it's about time. Something great is coming in. You could be getting some clarity, some inner truth. 
But whatever this is is sparking your attention. I'm getting that it's it has something to do with a new beginning. Maybe with someone else. Or maybe some new situation. Maybe something is finally happening that you've always wanted. And it's going to make you feel, yeah, justice has finally been served. Or it's just going to make you feel like it's about time you're finally getting what you deserve out of life or out of a situation or just with this new beginning. Yeah, so you could have two paths towards a future coming up. That's what the Two of Wands can be about. But one of them is that you really beaming and you got your back tied to the other. You've got your, I'm sorry, you've got your back to the other. But your hand is still tied to it. So, yeah, the outcome is absolutely beautiful for you, Sagittarius. So that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Sagittarius, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe. During this crazy virus season, just hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care of yourselves. Please come back and join me for the next Sagittarius reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, when you get these readings, the roles can be switched. They can be reversed. You could be your person, or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically... Your person or the other person could be a friend, a family member, a situation, or a co-worker. So just take the readings for however it resonates because, once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Sagittarius, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'm wishing you all happy holidays. Um, yeah, it's your birthday season too, right? Happy birthday. Happy holidays. Hope to see you at the next reading. Have a great day and take care.